Okay, so um, we left off. We, were, we had skipped the second section and gone to the third section, and we um, talked about sex-linked traits. So if you, this is where we had left off um, about colorblindness, um, muscular dystrophy, and hemophilia. So we're going to finish up this third section here and look at X, X inactivation in female mammals. Um, in mammalian females, one of the two X chromosomes in each cell is randomly, so randomly, um, there's no rhyme or reason to it, inactivated sometime during embryonic development. So what happens is um, it doesn't affect it if the female is um, homozygous, but if the female is heterozygous for a particular gene on the X chromosome, she will be what's called a mosaic for that character. So what does that mean? So let's look at, I'll do orange here. Let's look at the... Um, a heterozygous cat. So here are her, this is the early embryo. Um, they're only showing you the 20, the sex chromosome. So she has an allele for orange fur and an allele, let me get my black one, an allele right here for black fur. So she's heterozygous. All right, and so what happens is very early on in development, one of the two X chromosomes becomes inactivated. So, um, so look at here. So cell division and X chromosome inactivation. So some um, uh, inactivate the the X chromosome. So therefore, the active X is the one that has the orange gene on it. And the black is inactive, all right? So here the black is inactivated. And in some cells, it may be just the opposite. The black um, fur is active, and the orange one so becomes inactivated. So the inactive X is the orange is inactivated. And it totally is random. And what happens is it's not showing you here, but an inactive X chromosome looks like this. So here's the cell. Here's the X chromosome that is active. When the one, whichever one is becoming inactivated, it usually forms just like a little blob. Um, it kind of looks kind of towards the, the cell membrane of the, the cell, and they call this a bar body. The bar body is your inactive X chromosome. I'll just put C zone for chromosome. So that's what you get. So imagine um, this. So, so let's go over here. So, um, so here's your cell and you have an orange X chromosome and a black X chromosome. And so then what happens is that cell divides all right, so now you have an orange X and a black X. And then it keeps dividing, and then early on in that development, one of them becomes inactivated. So therefore, um, uh, let's say this one becomes inactivated here, and this one becomes inactivated here. So then what happens is every cell beyond that, wherever the, the cell beyond that is only going to have the activated black chromosome, and every cell that's made from this one will have the activated orange. And so therefore for this cat, this cat will have fur that in some places are orange and some places are black, and that is because um, the X chromosome depends upon in that particular um, part um, of the cat if which one became inactivated. And so you get the splotchiness of black and orange 
because of the inactivation. 